Okay, we only have about 180 seconds. It was uh, a three minute test. So I'm going to reject those areas I have highlighted. It asks me to pick a name for it. Uh, we'll OK that. OK, now let's see uh, what all this uh, works for. Let's look at spectral maps. The default is to sample 15% of the data, which I presume is adequate. They start out looking at 6, 10, and 22. I'm uh, curious about a couple other frequencies, so I will just add those in here. And we OK that. OK, this is showing the activity per the frequencies over here as to where most of the activity of the 2 hertz or the 22 hertz frequency is taking place in the brain. These colors over here we can blow this up and uh, make it a little larger. Apparently when I hit just one of the lines it goes right to that line. Uh, I think though I'm not sure what the correlation is. I think red is AF3 or 1 but not sure of the exact color order of all those. You can also take and uh, click one of these to uh, make this larger, blow this up to see it in more detail. I uh, like to save these, so I'm going to go save as. It tries to save it as a MATLAB figure. Uh, not being too familiar, not having standalone MATLAB, I'm going to suggest JPG. And this lets me load it up on Picasa to share things. Now also I can come here and uh, do a component map in 2D. And we're showing 1 to 14 channels. Right here works fine. If I do that from the beginning it messes things up. And here are the 14 components. I'm assuming they're relating this to the location of the sensors and how the various intensity goes there. But I don't fully understand this other than these are some neat looking pictures and obviously have a lot to understand here. Now uh, we come back here we can, uh, well, let me save this one here. I'll save as okay now let's plot a, a 3D map it says I need to do a spline file I kind of went and after all these calculations I found out you, number, you end up with these eight strings of numbers. They can be pasted in here and you can go straight from there. Uh, to manually <clears throat> get these located you can do it this way. And then you go Warp Montage, Auto Select, OK, 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 and then it's put these same numbers here that I had up here. So you can approach that either way you like. We're still looking at channels 1 through 14.
So uh, there you have the extent of my knowledge of EEG Lab after stumbling blindly through it for uh, about two weeks now. Some of the hurdles I've overcome. I'm sure there's many of you out there with <clears throat> vast or far greater experience in this that could give me a lot of pointers and I would love any feedback or help I could get. Thank you very much.